Hello, I'm Kat for Around the Penny. It's Thursday, March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. Now that the market is closed and the numbers are in, let's see how many pots of gold the penny stock market produced today. It's time to take a walk around the penny. We opened the show with the bulls in the market, and after all the buzz in the chat rooms yesterday, Universal Detection Technology, symbol UNDT, is first up. The bioterrorism defense provider had a monster day, skyrocketing 280% on nearly 2 billion shares. Today, the company announced an agreement with the U.S. Department of Commerce to market the radiological detection equipment, with the radiation becoming a big issue from the disaster in Japan. UNDT is putting their products in the hands of the Japanese to help monitor the damage. Next up, Encounter Technology, symbol ENTI. The social media company dropped 40% yesterday, but was able to gain most of that back today. By the day's end, the equity was up over 33% on a volume of about 124 million shares. This morning, the company made an announcement about their subsidiary, MusicMatrix.com. They will be featuring an exclusive online VIP viewing for fans to watch the making of former Backstreet Boy Howie D's new music video. The company plans on donating all proceeds to help the relief effort in Japan. Aptec Corporation, symbol APCX, was able to post a solid day today. The company issued a press release this morning sharing some of the company's moving forward plans. There has been some speculation of a reverse stock split, but the company shot that rumor down. As for the stock, it rallied 10% on a volume of over 335 million shares. The company also plans on raising their status to current in the next few days. Look for that change on pink sheets. On to the market's bears, and we start with Protac Capital Incorporated, symbol PRPM. They invest in software companies that are already traded on public markets. A week ago today, Protac retired half a million shares from a previous business deal that went south. After doubling in price the last two days, traders felt the dump would eventually come. They were right, the equity dropped over 22% on close to 120 million shares. Let's move on to global technology symbol GTLL. This social media company has been on a pretty bad slide for the month of March, and today the trend continued. No news to report, just a straight loss of 20% on a volume of just over 111 million shares. Our final bear, WiseBuys Incorporated, symbol HCKI. Not a great day for them as the retail holdings company fell over 33% on over 67 million shares. Earlier today, the company confirmed that 1.8 billion shares of common stock were canceled by its majority shareholder. This now leaves the company with nearly 1.4 billion shares outstanding. Now we know why traders were selling. Chat rooms were very interested in mining companies today. One company was Titan Resources International, symbol TNRI. Titan is a resource exploration company of precious metals. This morning, they announced that they hired a mining consultant for their silver property in Canada. The stock certainly responded well to this news. It opened at 0.027 and saw a high of 0.05 and a low of 0.0265. It rallied over 146% on a volume of about 8 million and closed at 0.0. The volume really gained momentum during power hour when we saw a jump of over 1 million shares. This is the highest the stock has been all month, but the stock was at a high of 20 cents less than a year ago. So some chatters said this may just be a dead cat bounce. Another popular mining company was Sunergy Incorporated, symbol S-N-E-Y. They provided an update today on their Sierra Leone project, where test results revealed more rare earth elements than expected. The estimated value per ton was just under $3,400 in June of last year. Since then, that amount has increased to just over $8,400 per ton. The stock opened at 0 0.009 and had a high of 0 0.01 and a low of 0 0.0087. Overall, it rose about 13% on close to 12 million shares, closing at 0 0.0096. The stock has been on a pretty steady climb all month, with today being the highest it's been so far. But we should point out the company's OTC yield sign for limited info. The quote of the day comes compliments of Trader JT, who... <laughs> Who said, I'm wearing all green, but my stocks are all red. Okay, JT, and what color are your boxers today? Let's see what we caught in our newsletter radar. We saw one newsletter pumping here enterprises, symbol HRTE. The company develops wind power, which is the nation's fastest growing resource of renewable energy. Today it announced an expanded lineup of feature events at its motocross park. The park is one of the top five motocross tracks in the nation. But with all of this impressive news, the stock didn't quite measure up. 
After opening at 0.035, it fell a little over 3% on roughly 2 million shares to close at 0.032. And less than a month ago, it was at a price of 0.043. Nice try, pumpers, but it looks like you're full of hot air. Another newsletter was pushing for Shamika 2 Gold, symbol SHMX. The junior gold company appointed a new member to its board of directors today. But the attempt to sell the news didn't work out so well. The stock opened at just under 39 cents and spent most of the day in a decline. It ended up falling nearly 7% on over 886,000 shares, closing at 0.345. Just a week ago, the equity was at a price of 63 cents. That's a pretty hard fall, so we're giving this lad a shiny new gold BS trophy. Who knows, it may just be your new lucky charm. That's a wrap for today. Thanks so much for watching. For all the latest Penny Stock news, be sure to visit our homepage at simplypennies.com. You can also follow us on Twitter and check us out on YouTube. For On the Penny, I'm Kat. Now go forth and enjoy a green beverage on this wonderful St. Patty's Day. Our final bear. Wow.